I bought this house about three years ago, and uh, I've been living with this crack in my window for like the entire time I've lived here. And uh, it's actually pretty annoying, so I'm actually, I bought um, a replacement glass, which you can do, and I'm going to put it right inside this frame. Uh, but, uh, and you may have a different type of window, but the kind I have actually fold out to clean. So that'll give me um, the opportunity to get the window out, uh, and then I can replace the glass. Um, anyway, so what you do is just open the window a little bit, and you pull on these little dealios here, and the window will slide right out. I've taken this window out a couple times, so it's probably about ready to fall out. So anyway, lift up a little bit on one side, and the window comes out. Point. Just like that. All right, and then uh, I'll show you how to take that window out. In order to get the glass out of the window, I'm going to take these glazing strips off. So what that does, hang on. What that allows us to do is get the glass out, or actually get the, this will have to turn over to do. Um, these glazing strips will um, probably break as I get them out, but I bought new ones, so. And then they cut the fit. Now, if you're careful enough, you can probably do this whole thing without busting the glazing tips, but let me get those off and then uh, see where we're at. Uh, once you get the uh, glazing tip strips off, you're going to want to measure the window from glass to glass, uh, from the very edge as far as you can get to the very edge over here on this side, uh, and then do the same on the top. Because if you don't and you leave those glazing strips in, then the window will be cut too small or too long and you won't be able to fit it in there so uh, and then you want to measure the thickness of your tic-tac-toe um, design in between the panes uh, mine was 5 8 and the, as you can see on the new window uh, it's of course not cracked which is the great part but uh, um, it's got the tic-tac-toe inlay in between the panes and there's 5 8 and we're going to find out if it fits to get the glass out of the frame itself, um, you have to, there's caulking and he's a caulking all the way around the, the window. And what I'm doing is I'm using a propane torch to heat up the caulking and then I'm pushing the glass down and taking that started on this side to get it to come out and I'll show you how to do that.
keep starting to crack the glass so you gotta be real careful. So now we'll get the glass out and uh, clean it up for the new glass. As you can see here, uh, I had to break the glass to get the, well, I just had to break the glass because I needed to throw it in the trash can and I really didn't have any other option. And it was so flimsy that putting it in a truck to take to the dump would just uh, be probably worse. So breaking it up into little pieces and uh, what's weird is that, um, I don't know if you can see this, but there's like these little ball bearing things inside the, let's see if you get close enough. There's little ball bearing things inside the actual frame. I'm like, what the heck is that? Anyway, I figured I'd show that to you. Thought that was neat. Now that I got the glass out, I want to uh, clean the sides to get all the, the dry it on the adhesive and get that off of there. And uh, I've got quite a bit off now and this is a lot of the the boogers from the, what was on there. So it's pretty much cleaned off. So about ready for the window. I just did a dry fit of the new glass and it fits. I've already put the caulking on here. This is actually what was recommended by the window company. It's a silicone rubber sealant and uh, clear would probably be the best because uh, that way if you get any spillover on the window uh, you won't see it. So I'm just going to go ahead and start squeezing this out on the window at the ledge here. Just put a small bead so that um, we don't get too much squeeze out. But just enough to get the window to stick. Not come out. Paper towel underneath your coffee gun so that it doesn't drip over. It's all ready for the glass. Alright, the glass is in, and now we're ready for our glazing strips. I got new glazing strips uh, from the window manufacturer, 
And uh, what all, all I've been doing here, I got three of them in right here. I've just been measuring them. Uh, and then I put the top and the bottom one in first, and then that way they're even. And then uh, I'm putting the sides on it. I'm just measuring them and then cutting them with the scissors. And uh, they slide next to the window there. And I've been using a uh, putty knife just to get them in place. And that is it. The glass is in place. Awesome. So clean it up and put it back in. Success! The window is fixed and back installed and oh my word, three years of a broken window and I can't believe how easy it was to fix. I was so intimidated by this project. I was so worried that the, I would have to replace the whole window and it would just be such a daunting task and I, you know, it, in my mind it was huge and after I talked to the uh, window uh, uh, installation guy and and he explained to me exactly how I needed to do it. I was like, I cannot believe I waited this long. And here it is, completed after all this time. And uh, so what I'm trying to say is, you know, even if it seems momentous and you can uh, could never accomplish it, just do one step at a time. And you know, chances are it's never going to be as hard as you make it out to be. So um, I wanted just to mention a couple things. Uh, you know, if your window is not a tilt-out window like mine was for cleaning, um, chances are you're going to have some kind of hardware up here where you can take off and then the window will come out. So, uh, and then you can take it out of the track like I did, which um, I'm just fortunate enough to have the window that I do, so I was able to get it out real easily and get back in. So, but man, awesome. And you can see out of it, I cleaned the window. I think it's probably the cleanest window in this place, but... Uh, so yeah, next time, if you have a project, no matter what it is, you know, try to, you know, find somebody who's done it. You know, go to a home center and uh, there's all kinds of people that have done it before. Go to forums or whatever, YouTube.